Welcome to Masters of Self University Podcast, your highest source of sacred truths and universal wisdom. Hello, beautiful souls. I'm Rachel Fiore, mystic, spiritual teacher, psychic healer, and founder of Masters of Self University. Join our journey of soul transformation as we deep dive into this latest episode. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to Masters of Self University podcast. I'm Rachel Fiore. I want to dive into the topic of healing modalities and why I want you to stop learning healing modalities. For the love of Christ, stop it. Here's why. Okay, we're going to dive into this and I really invite you to stay and and listen to every aspect of what I'm about to offer to you. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's what our world, here's what our culture, here's what we have turned into when it comes to healing modalities. We have learned to get a certification or some certificate in like a weekend training or in something that you learn in a matter of a few weeks or a very short period of time. And That in and of itself, there's a tremendous amount of danger and opening ourselves up to things that we don't have the slightest education in when it comes to learning different healing modalities. When you are learning a healing modality, if you think you are certified or you're going to master that healing modality in a weekend course, for example, you learn it in a weekend. That's it. You're done. Poof. There you go. Go charge for it. Go treat clients. Go try to make money off of this. It is irresponsible. It's haphazard. And it is fucking reckless. Did I say irresponsible? It is an immature, irresponsible way to move forward with trying to attain skills, wisdom, knowledge about something that is supposed to be put forth on this earth to, to help people in some way. And we don't, we do not approach healing modalities. Now I'm generalizing, of course, right now I am generalizing. There are exceptions to this. I'm going to talk about that right now. I'm generalizing how, what our society has turned into the more spiritual people get, they have 97 fucking certifications or certificates and shit. I've trained in this. I'm trained in that. I can do 900 different healing modalities. Look, I went down the path too. I was curious. I wanted to learn different healing modalities. I healed in a way that the universe offered, opened me up and wanted me to go down one certain path to bring a type of healing modality to the world. Okay. And part of my learning to open up to receive that was learning other modalities to learn what not to do and to learn what other people were doing and offering and the way in which they were offering it. So now I want to be crystal clear. It doesn't mean that there are healing modalities that just because there are other healing modalities out there, you should never do any of them. It is the way in which they are offered, the way in which it is taught, the way in which you are educated and trained, which is the problem. That is the problem with almost any healing technique, any healing modality out there. It is how it's taught, the way that it's taught, how you are trained in it. That's the problem with most of them. Okay. I also need to talk to you about translocation versus transformation. We'll get to that. Most healing modalities absolutely do not transform. And yet, don't we love to market everything and everyone to pay for our services by saying we do transformation when almost no healing modality that exists on the planet actually does what transformation is. That is the hard truth. So for those of you getting triggered and pissed off, grow up. Immature, emotionally fragile people get triggered easily and pissed off. So grow up or scroll on, stop listening. I don't care. Go away. 
but you have to open yourselves up. Those of you who are healers, I am inviting you to open yourselves up to a much higher level. And before your fucking ego jumps in here and says, oh, you don't know me. I'm already high level. I'm so spiritual. I've been on the path for 20 years now. You don't know how enlightened I am. Right there, if you're thinking along those lines and your ego jumped in there with that shit, you're not anywhere near fucking a level of true authentic healing. I'll tell you that right now. That's where we need to wake up. That is not a judgment. It's not a criticism. Never is it a judgment. It is a wake-up call because we are irresponsible and we are reckless as healers. Reckless and irresponsible. And that's not 100% your fault because we're not taught well. Okay? But we live in a world and an era of fucking ignorance. And we have lost the art of responsibility, education, and training that comes with authentic healing and transformation. We lost it. So all these modalities came about and everybody is freaking certified in this and everybody's certified in that and half the people on the planet fuck healers, except that you're not. You're translocators. You're not actual healers. True healing is transformation. That means transformation at an energetic level. And before any of you are like, well, no, that's what I do because I do this modality and I do that modality. That's energy healing. No, it isn't. Just because you're moving energy doesn't mean you are transforming energy into a different form. And almost no healing modality that exists on this planet actually transforms the energy into a different form. It is so important that you begin to comprehend this. So it isn't a judgment or a put down of any particular healing modality, except for the fact that the healing modalities that exist, almost none of them on this planet exist as an actually transformative method. They don't transform at the level of the particle into a different particle, if you want to put it that way. Okay, so acupuncture, energy healing of any fucking kind translocates things. No, but I felt so much better. No, but I healed, except that it comes back. And yes, I'm going to even include Western medicine, cancer treatments, for example. Oh, I'm cured. The cancer's gone. No, the cancer's not gone. That's translocation. What's translocation? Temporarily removing it or moving it or making it go to someone else or something else. A lot of times we think we've healed or healing is happening. When the only thing that's happening is that disease, that problem, that symptom, that entity that was causing the disease, the, the darkness that is in there simply got moved. It just moved it. Energy never dies. There's no such thing. Energy doesn't die. It just moves around and goes elsewhere. So even in things like holistic, you know, practices like acupuncture and, and whatever form of energy healing, the energy doesn't die. So a relief of symptoms does not mean, it doesn't mean that because there is a relief of symptoms that the disease or the problem is actually gone, meaning transformed. It may be temporarily dormant. Think about this in cancer patients. The percentage of um, cancer patients that are in remission. You're not called cured almost ever. It's you're in remission. Why do we say that? Because we know in the majority of cases, now I'm generalizing all cancers together because some of them are 100% going to come back, look it up. Do, do your research, ask cancer doctors. We know there are very high rates of cancers coming back. Why? Because it never fucking left. That's why. And if we were actually educated, Western medicine and holistic practices, if we were actually educated in the science of transformation versus translocation, our practices would be very different. 
Western medicine wouldn't look anything like it fucking looks today. That kind of goes without saying. But what we don't realize, and I want you to wake up, is that even in, quote unquote, natural healing practices, plant medicine, oh my God, if you had any fucking idea what you were actually doing with plant medicine, people. Oh, the lack of education that we have. Plant medicine and holistic modalities are all forms of translocating energies. It opens you up to dangerous things coming in. A lot of times what's going on is we use healing modalities. Oh my God, the symptoms seem to have gone away. That does not mean anything has been transformed. Transformation of energy is a very specific practice. It is a very, it requires a very specific set of skills, skills that takes time to learn, get trained in, to practice, and then to master the art of transformation. No, it isn't about setting your motherfucking intention about shit. Get out of here with that crap. Pure ignorance. Also dangerous. I don't care that people are ignorant. What I do care is when you are that ignorant, the byproduct of that is you are translocating your diseases, your problems, your symptoms of things, often to your children, to other people in your family, to your pets. They get sick. They get cancer. They have symptoms. They have illnesses because the the stronger person in the family unit, for example, pushes their illness on. Symptoms will, symptoms will seemingly have ceased when you get your holistic healing, your energy healing, your whatever treatment. And then what's often happening is those symptoms go down. They, seeming, they seemingly disappear. And then they, you go home and they just that illness, that disease actually translocates. It goes to your partner. It goes to your child. It goes to your animals. It goes to your pets. It goes to your children. It goes to your friends that you're hanging out with. It actually goes somewhere else. Okay. I am not going to, in this particular episode, I am not going to go into specific depths about what is really happening here. And for some of you are like, what the fuck? Why not? <laughs> um, because I, I want to just get a message out for all the healers who are listening to this. Or for those of you who feel this really strong call to become a healer. So I'm not telling you don't become healers. What I'm telling you is push the goddamn pause button. And I want you to start to educate yourself. Educating yourself means becoming... The universal ways of oneness. One of the universal ways of oneness, the second universal way of oneness, of oneness consciousness is the way of patience. Okay. It is the way of patience. Authentic healers who learn the art of alchemy, that means actual energetic transformation. That means true healing, healing where the disease, the ailment, the illness, the whatever is wrong with you is the depression, the anxiety is actually completely transformed. It no longer exists in that form inside of yourself, which means it also can never, ever, 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 ever be translocated to another person, your child, your partner, your pet, your dog, your whatever. It can't be that, do that. None of that can happen because it has been energetically transformed at its core creation, whatever created that illness. Now, there are a lot of things that create diseases, illnesses, symptoms, problems, pains, aches, whatever. There are a lot of things and all of them are energetic. Okay. Old traumas, trapped emotions, unhealed stuff, mental programs, emotional programs that um, saturate into the physical body over long periods of time, create diseases and problems and symptoms of the physical body. Okay. And a lot of you know that that shouldn't be news to most people who listen to me or listen to anything we offer at masters of self university. There is truth in that when we only treat symptoms, we are trying to translocate the symptoms, push them out 
and the energy has to go somewhere. The energy has to go somewhere. Energy is energy is energy. We are all made of energy. There's no such thing as energy dying. Okay. Even though sometimes we refer and use that language from a spiritual definition, um, energy doesn't die, but it is transformed. Okay. So here's the deal. Almost no healing modality that exists on the planet actually transforms, but it does push things out. It does push things to go uh, dormant for a while, only to come back. It pushes things where that particular problem, illness, disease, whatever it might be, can go dormant. Or it's like, oh, this isn't working. You're trying to use things to get rid of me. I am then going to disappear for a little while, but I'm going to come back in a different part of the body. I'm going to come back and have, you're now going to have a different problem. You know, now it's going to be lower back pain. You're going to have lower back pain now because you were trying to treat and get rid of your migraines, for example. Okay, I could give a million examples. That's why I'm not going to go into depth. And this is going to be extra long po uh, podcast episode today. I'm just giving you a general introduction to this. So you can start to understand the deeper truths of how we're not helping people by offering all of these things when we don't even understand the difference between translocation versus transformation and almost no healing modality out there exists and offers that level of wisdom, that level of truth, that level of teaching. Okay. So take a deep breath because those of you who are like, I do, I have nine certifications or 37 certifications and things. I have people that come to me for, who have applied for the mystical life coach certification program for example. And they ask me all of these questions. How can I use all of these modalities in this program? Like you don't understand. That's part of the program is learning that all the modalities you got to put to the side for a moment, just temporarily. And then you understand what transformation actually is. And then it's possible to use the science of transformation, of energetic transformation in some of the healing modalities that you've already learned. And guess what? In some of them, never going to happen. You need to let them go. Put them in the trash where they belong. Just because it's, it's quote unquote holistic does not mean any authentic healing is happening. But I've witnessed it. My symptoms are gone when I use acupuncture. That's translocation. The energy goes somewhere else. Do you understand? It goes somewhere else, period, end. That's energetic scientific fact. That's the science of um, energetic science teaches you that that energy goes somewhere else. And the majority of the time it ends up going to your family member. And no, they don't have to have the same exact problem, disease, illness, symptoms. It can manifest as something different. It's that energy goes into someone else's physical form. It goes somewhere else. Okay. Energy is always moving. It is always change. It's always traveling. It has to go somewhere. So it's either living inside of you, inside of your body as the host, the energy in that form, in the quote unquote disease form, so to speak, is an easy way to understand it. And if all you're doing is pushing it out, which first of all, that's what Western medicine does, period, end, black and white, fuck it sucks. Or in the majority of our natural um, treatments or holistic, quote unquote, holistic treatments, it's they're doing the same damn thing. Just because you are working with energy does not mean you know how to transform energy. Really let that sink in. Just because you are using healing hands, energetic practices means nothing in the art of actual alchemy. Energetic transformation. Do you understand that? Really let that sink in. You're not doing any good. It seems like you're doing well. It seems like you're doing good for your clients. They're symptom free temporarily or someone else gets it. What the hell? How selfish are we? That is not the way of selfless service, which was one of the ways of oneness consciousness. No more translocating diseases and illnesses and symptoms and crap. No more. We have to learn the art of energetic transformation, the art of alchemy, the true art of it, the truth of it, the way of truth. That is our responsibility. 
the way of responsibility. These are ways of oneness. Healing modalities in the future have to come from oneness consciousness. Oneness consciousness means I will never again in my ignorance. So by mistake means ignorance. It's not a judgment. I will never again push diseases, illnesses, translocate them outside of me so that I feel better and I'm symptom free when I now know the way of truth that that illness, disease, symptoms, pain, whatever it is that I'm experiencing just goes outside of me and travels to somewhere, someone else. That is a lack of responsibility. That is a lack of compassion for other people. That is a lack of connection. We need to be the way of connection. We need to be the way of truth. We need to be the way of harmlessness and gentleness and being harmlessness and gentleness. These ways, these universal ways of oneness means that whatever I do to heal myself can never, ever, 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 ever as a byproduct of that cause harm to anyone or anything else, to any other being on this planet. That is the elevated state we are being challenged to evolve into. So no more. Just because people use marketing strategies to call what they do transformation, almost none of it is transformation. Okay? We have to wake up to the goddamn truth of that. Just because people say the words doesn't mean they understand energetic science and they are actually performing transformation. So here's so here I'm going to come full circle back to what I opened with. Stop learning the goddamn healing modalities where you get some goddamn certificate after like two days or a few weeks of practice. Stop it. Stop it. That shit just infuriates me. What we are spreading and we're, oh, we're all so spiritual, which means we're only spreading good because spirituality is all good. That's bullshit. No, it isn't. You're living in fucking ignorance. It's time to wake the fuck up for real. Wake up. Just because it's spiritual doesn't mean it's healthy, positive, or actually transformation by the scientific energetic definition of that. It isn't. Just because it's different than the status quo, holistic healing versus Western medicine, for example, doesn't mean it is better. It is just different. We have to wake up to what we are actually doing versus what we like to think we're doing. That's true awakening, people. Just because you're spiritual doesn't mean you're fucking awakened. And our planet is running out of time. Humanity is running out of time to get it. We don't have another hundred years. We don't have another thousand years to wake the fuck up for real. We don't. We are running out. We've run out of time. We have to wake up for real. All of the warriors out there who want to do nothing but good wake up and hear what I am offering to you. Jumping on a bandwagon of fucking plant medicine, being spiritual, doesn't mean you're doing only good. You are translocating in this group of people, or we help this group of people. Because plant medicine is great, except it is another form of fucking translocation, it isn't transformation. All of those symptoms, all of those energies are going somewhere. And more often than not, you're treating this group of people, you're doing the plant medicine ceremonies, and then they go home and their symptoms start going, the energies inside of them start seeping in to their children, to their spouses to close friends or loved ones or people they interact with on a regular basis or to their colleagues and coworkers. It is irresponsible. It's haphazard. It is dangerous. And nobody has the slightest fucking clue what they're doing. They don't have the slightest clue. The level of responsibility that is required if you want to be a quote unquote healer comes from a divine goddamn definition of it. 
You're not, I'm sorry. You're not a fucking healer just because you say so. No. That's what little children when they play games. Little kids in first grade who have now been through kindergarten, first grade, they start to play games like, I'm a teacher. Let's play school. And then one of the little kids is the teacher with their friends. And they pretend like they're up at the chalkboard or nowadays on Zoom. <laughs> they pretend that they're the teacher teaching the children in the class just because they're playing the role, acting out the role of teacher and they're mimicking to the best of their ability what they've learned from the teachers they've had or the teacher they have doesn't mean they are an actual teacher, does it? They're only in first grade playing the role they're playing. Just because you went to somebody who's certified in a modality and you did it for a weekend or a week or you took some digital fucking course online, listen, I'm sorry. This is never a judgment. It is a wake-up call. Just because you've done that crap doesn't mean you are an actual healer. What you don't understand that you're doing, no matter what beautiful intention you have, because healers don't have bad intentions. <laughs> it's not like you have a bad intention. You want to go do harm. That's why you became a healer or you learned your healing modality. That's why this is never about judgment. It is about waking the fuck up for real. We have got to wake the fuck up. We are out of time to get this shit. Okay. You have got to take courses and training and, and, and do field work and have practitioner practice where you have your teacher, somebody mastered in that healing, guide you, coach you, support you along the way. It takes a long time to become an actual healer. The enlightened definition of what healer truly means. People spend their lives in ancient times when there were civilizations that really were enlightened civilizations. If you were a quote unquote healer, you didn't go spend a weekend with a healer, got taught a couple of things. And after the weekend, you were a motherfucking healer. No way. And if you ever attempted to call yourself that you were ripped out for the rest of your life, never again were you allowed to even attempt to become a healer ever again. You know why? That's a divine definition of responsibility, the way of responsibility, the way of integrity, the universal ways of oneness. When you lack a moral code, an enlightened framework to become the healer that you want to become, when you lack a framework and the only thing you're learning is some techniques, here's where you put your hands. Here's what you do with the energy. Feel the energy. Blah. That's what you're learning. Here's the symbol that you use and that's it. You're not learning how to actually transform. You're not learning. So here's the key secret to what an authentic healer becomes. It's a becoming you don't learn techniques. You don't learn skills and then you're a fucking healer. Sorry. No. We do things so fucking upside down. We absolutely live in the upside down world. It's disgusting. Ass backwards, upside down is how we do things. We learn some skills and then we say, I'm a healer now. No, you're not. I'm sorry. You're not. And I've, I have a lot of certifications, most of which I would never mention. Why? Part of why I took them was because I wanted to become, I wanted to evolve. And all that I was taught on all the damn certifications I earned years and years and years ago were skills to do this, that, and the other. It's like, you're not becoming, you're not evolving from the inside out. And before you, before those of you were like, yes, I did. Not in the way that I'm, I'm putting out. No, not in the way that I'm defining. No, you haven't. Or you wouldn't have been able to come a quote unquote healer in a matter of a, a, a fucking digital course. No such thing. You wouldn't have been able to become a healer in something after you took a weekend course, even if you did it in person. But we practiced on other people when we were there for the two or three days that we did it. You're not a fucking healer when that's all you've done. I'm sorry. No, you're not. So we need to wake up. And instead of learning 
a bunch of healing modalities because that's what I want you to fucking stop doing. I am inviting you to become educated and what it means to be on the path of becoming an authentic healer. You've got to wake up and be more responsible. But I want to heal people. Great. If you really want to heal people and you feel that's a calling, your soul is, that's the purpose of why you're here. Your soul's purpose is to heal and transform people. That is why you're here because that might be why you're here. There are a lot of people, we need a lot of healers on this planet. Boy, oh my God. If I could wave a magic wand, uh, tr really, you don't even know. If I could wave a magic wand, I would wave that wand and I would create one million healers from the divine definition, the enlightened definition of healer. I would have one million healers on this planet right now that were so enlightened that they could comprehend what I'm talking about at the highest level and they would become that. I would wave a magic wand if I could. One million of you, I really would. I want you healers on this planet to authentically heal. I want you to exist. I want you to exist. I want you here. This planet desperately needs you. This is my call to you. The planet desperately needs you. What the planet does not need is a bunch of people calling themselves spiritual when all they're doing is translocation and their head is up their asses and they have no fucking idea what translocation actually is versus transformation. You are slowing down, blocking, and preventing actual healing from occurring in humans all over the fucking world. When you're just, I'm spiritual and I heal and I do it in my own way and I do, no, but I'm a Reiki master, but I'm a this, but I'm a that. I'm a quantum touch. I'm a theta healer. I'm a blah, 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 blah. When you have no idea what translocation versus transformation is, then that means you have no idea that almost every damn healing modality that exists on the planet today does nothing but translocate which means you can't bring the wisdom of transformation to that modality because you don't even know the fucking difference. I want authentic transformational healers to exist on this planet. Oh my God, we desperately need it. We so desperately need it. But if you are unwilling to invest the time to invest your life to devote yourself to becoming what I'm describing, then you are literally blocking this earth and everything on it from healing. You are one of the blocks. You are one of the problems because all you're doing is translocating shit. You're moving energy around without transforming shit. So you have to understand, open yourself up that you're part of the fucking problem here. Again, never is that a criticism, never is that a judgment. Most people, no clue, not the slightest fucking clue that that's what they're doing. But that in and of itself is the problem, isn't it? That we don't even know the damn difference. And everybody out there wants to be so fucking special. I'm a healer. Pay me, me. Ugh, that we lack the integrity and we lack the way of responsibility. Which means we lack the enlightened definition of what selfless service actually is. Because in selfless service as a healer, you are here to transform. You're not here to translocate. Please wake up and hear what I'm saying. Okay? There is a healing pathway for the 20 universal ways of oneness that is being created at Masters of Self University. If you're ever interested in it, it is being created and developed now. To start that healing path, you can start with our basic courses that we offer because those are foundational courses. You're not going to be a healer in a matter of a few months in oneness consciousness in the ways of oneness, okay? What I can tell you, a lot of you can come and take our Power Within, our coaching programs, learn the foundation of the things that we are teaching in actual transformation every single thing that exists at masters of self university is transformation transformation energetic alchemy 
period, end. Everything we do is actual transformation. So a lot of you in a lot of healing modalities for a lot of your, you healers out there, a lot of, if you learn to discern the difference between translocation versus transformation, and you learn the foundation, the techniques, the basics that we teach in our classes and our coaching programs, et cetera, a lot of you healers can actually use that wisdom to upgrade and elevate whatever current healing modality you are trained in. You can use, now not all of them though, not all of them. Some of the, some of the, the holistic healing quote unquote modalities out there need to go away and go in the trash. But a lot of them, if you become a, a transformational practitioner, at least get the basics and the foundation of that, then a lot of you can actually use that and integrate that into your current healing modalities where you are no longer than translocating, you are actually transforming at an energetic level. That is what we want. Do you understand? I hope you understand what I am offering here in the sense that it, it has nothing to do with like, Oh, any healing modality is it? They do not transform. They translocate. That's the whole problem. If there were healing modalities that actually transformed, I am 100% in favor of them. Almost none of them exist on this planet right now. And for those of you, if you're triggered by this and you can't even listen to this, you're part of the fucking problem. And all you're doing is perpetuating shit that translocates out there versus transform. Plant medicines do not have a transformative component to them, period, fucking, end. they translocate. So if you do not have practitioners that have spent years training in energetic transformation, and they cannot include that in the plant ceremony, in the plant ceremonies that they offer, in the plant medicines that they use, it's the practitioner who is supposed to incorporate energetic transformation with the tool of plant medicine, for example, there's just one example, when you integrate the two of them together, you can use a, a plant medicine as a tool to assist you, the practitioner of transformation, in a ceremony that can help transform, bring things up, open people up, transform, make sure nothing dark or evil or demonic comes in because you're opening things up. Hello, knock, knock, hint, hint. A lot of that shit happens. But the, the responsibility, the training that is required to move people through that is not somebody who's, I've had 17 ayahuasca ceremonies this, this year alone. <sighs> I feel great. So who did you translocate your shit to? Because it went to somebody else. It went to your pet. It went to someone. It went to someone. It went. That's what translocation is. Energy doesn't die. It can only be moved, given to someone or something else, or it can be alchemized or completely transformed. And energetic transformation takes an incredible amount of evolving the beingness of who you are to handle that level of energetic power. So no, it isn't about just learning a few fucking skills. It's not. It is way more than that. So at least consider coming and learning what it means to connect to the part of you that balances everything in order for transformation to actually happen within yourself first. Otherwise, you're not balancing shit in anybody else. Connecting to your heart chakra, the center of the center of the center and growing the power of that is not a fucking meditation. We don't do that here. It is an energetic practice. It is a becoming 
of a more powerful energy that is a process to do over time because your physical body has to evolve, adapt, ascend, adjust every single time you up level and grow in power of your connection to your divine self. You see, it is an entire process that takes time to learn the truth of all of this. Exactly what we're missing on the planet right now. So everybody who, your soul, you know that you your soul's mission is to be a healer in some way and help heal people, help heal animals, help heal this planet. If that really is your soul's mission, then you are willing to devote your life to it. And that means you are not an actual healer overnight. You're not. No such thing. A real healer, an authentic healer, a divine healer does not become that overnight. Last thing I'm going to say about that part, for those of you like, I've been doing it for 30 years. You've been translocating for 30 years. I'm not fucking impressed. I don't care. It's not about how long you've been performing methods, ceremonies, holistic healing practices that are nothing but translocating, translocation for 10 years, 15 years, 40 years of your life. I don't give a fuck. You're missing everything that I'm sh- that I'm trying to wake you up to when that is your attitude and that's your response to this. But I've been doing whatever energy healing for 15 years, for 30 some years. Hello, you heard nothing of what I offered in this episode, if that's your response. I don't care. It means nothing. Literally doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean shit. Because all you've learned how to do for the last 30, 40 years, 10 years, five years of your healing practices is translocate. That's all you've learned how to do is translocate. This big fucking craze that's been going on for a while with breath work, you're fucking translocating. You're not alchemizing. You are not healing, which is why it always fucking comes back. Your energetic state that is your baseline energetic state made up of your mental programs, emotional programs, behavioral programs as a result, all of your inner child wounds, all of your unhealed traumas always fucking come back. Your stress, your depression, your anxiety. And then these idiots are out there promoting fucking breath work. Ignorance. You're translocating. You're just moving energy temporarily. And then guess what? Don't you have to do the fucking breath work again? (laughs) How many times do you have to do your fucking breath work in a day, in a week, in order to get a calmer state? And then you can, no, that's not alchemy. That's not transformation. Hello? We have to wake up. We've run out of time. So no, I'm not going to be fucking polite about it. I'm a Oh, you get, get the fuck rid of this shit. Knock it off. Come learn what actual transformation is. It is an energetic definition and you have to learn the process of what transformation actually is. And you have to learn how to discern the difference between what the shit you've been taught so you can undo what you've learned. Okay, so the majority of the healing modalities, I'm going to tell you right now, that exist on this planet, the majority of them, bye-bye. They're going to go bye-bye. All those holistic methods going to go bye-bye. Why? We think they're all so amazing. They're translocating energy. That's all they're doing. They're not amazing. They need to transform energy, period, end. If they're not doing that, there's no fucking purpose. We don't need them. They're blocking us from actual healing. They're blocking healing. Or you're moving that energy out to somebody else. And this person is now symptom-free. That is not no longer in their body, but it goes to someone else. It goes to another being, to a, a pet, a family member, whatever. We're pushing it out and someone else gets it. That energy has to live somewhere and it always goes somewhere to someone else. Unacceptable. And you say you're a holistic healer? No. That's like saying I can be free of cancer, but that means you have to get the cancer. Well, okay, I'll be free of cancer. I'm all in favor of me, me, me. Get cancer free. But you get it. Well, your problem. Not my problem. I'm cancer free now. Yay. That's what we're doing. 
with our aches, our pains, our diseases, our illnesses, all of our symptoms, that is what we are doing. I'm okay with me being symptom free. Oh, it goes to other people. Not my problem. Well, and then you fucking call yourself an awakened being. Mm -mm. I don't want anything that I have picked up, anything that's creating disease or illness or pains or whatever problems in me, never in my life would I want another human being to get that so I can be symptom free. Who the fuck are you other than a horrible person if that's what you're willing to do? And you call yourselves healers. No, that is what you're doing. You're just giving it to someone else. And then this person's like, oh my God, you're an amazing healer. I'll pay. Tell everybody to come to you. Really wake up to what you're actually doing versus what we like to think we're doing. We have all learned the wrong things. You guys, we've all learned the wrong things. We have learned ignorance teaches ignorance. Ignorance teaches ignorance. And I don't get this shit set your fucking intention bullshit. Do you think people who are healers have negative intentions? And yet what they are actually doing is translocating and not transforming. They're pushing things out to other people so it stays on the planet. It stays dark. It stays heavy. That depression and one person goes to something or someone else. It travels. Hello. You didn't intend for that to happen. It's not about your fucking intention. That's true awakening. It's about what you are actually doing. And that's what we need to wake up to, what you are actually doing. Okay? It is time to wake up to that. The truth of that, the way of truth, universal way of oneness. So I'm going to emphasize this. For all of you who are called to heal, you have to learn what transformation is. And just because every fucking goddamn program that exists on the planet says transformation, 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 almost none of it is. And that's the problem is frustrating. It is frustrating because nobody knows the fucking difference. So you have to be willing to learn the difference. Okay. You have to be willing to learn the difference. I want you to be true healers out there. We need you. We desperately need you. Do not misunderstand me. I want true, authentic, transformational healers to fucking exist on this planet. But the truth is most of them don't who heal. And it isn't your fault. It's not about blame. It is the truth, though. So I want you to wake up. I'm inviting you, please. Humanity desperately needs healers, real healers. Okay? So I'm inviting you to wake up. I am inviting you to find the way. And if you want help finding the way, of course, you can come to Masters of Self University. I wish to God I've met people who actually transform and I could send you, I would send you to anywhere. You don't have to come here. Some of the most incredible shamans in the whole world are not fucking transformational healers. They are translocators. And I can tell you a lot of them come to the forefront and are actually willing to admit it now. They'll tell you themselves, not all of them, but a lot of them are waking up and saying, yeah, yeah, as a shaman, I've spent my entire life as a shaman, traditional, in our heritage. Our ancestors were shamans for hundreds and hundreds of years. And even they will wake up and or admit, because they're starting to, that they're not transforming anything. They are translocating. And a lot of them know that. But, but, this isn't, this isn't shaming. This isn't blaming none of that crap. This isn't judgment. They didn't know how to do anything differently than what they were taught. Do you understand? That's what's been passed down generation, 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 translocation, 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 not transformation. So some of them are coming forward in Chinese medicine and in acupuncture and all these different, they will tell you, yeah. And what we had to learn how to do was protect ourselves so that the things that we are trying to remove from other people, our clients, our patients, our whatever, didn't translocate to us. So what they've learned over the centuries, over the years, over the decades, they've learned shamans, healer, quote unquote healers, it's not my definition of healer, but what they've learned is how to protect themselves so that what they're pulling out of somebody's body, what they're trying to remove from somebody doesn't go into them because they know it has to go somewhere. So they're trying to, they learn the techniques to not go into me 
as the healer, because of course, as the healer, you can take on your client's stuff. It happens all the time. And you'll have no idea. It doesn't mean you'll suddenly have symptoms immediately or anything. Sometimes you can. But that's the danger of being a healer. Do you understand? So a lot of practices over the centuries, they've learned how to protect themselves, quote unquote, so that translocation, so that things are pulling out the diseases, the energies, the evil, the demon, the whatever, they won't go into inside of me as the healer. So they learn how to protect themselves, but they'll come right out and tell you those a lot of a lot more stepping up and being honest. Yeah, we learn to protect ourselves because we understand what we're doing. We're just removing things from people, but it's going elsewhere, going out there, going to other people. I don't want it to come into me. That's not healing. That's not actual healing. We never cause harm to other people. And when you move something from you, but it goes then into this other person over here, that's not healing. That's harming another person. Helping you, harming you over there. Helping this one, but harming that one. No, that's not healing. So I hope, I hope this hit home for all of you healers out there who want to become healers, who have your nine, 12 different certifications and you have your own practices and your own methods and blah, 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 blah. You have to know the difference in translocation versus transformation. Don't you dare. Don't you dare continue to live in the fucking ignorance and the harm that you're causing as a healer, quote unquote, when your program said it was transformation and you just take their fucking word for it. You have to learn. You have to learn the process that you yourself can tell the difference in energy if you are transloading, translocating versus transforming. That takes time. That takes effort. That is a process. That takes evolution plus skills. It takes time. You didn't learn that in a weekend when you got your fucking certificate. Sorry, you didn't. Okay, so I really hope you heard me today because I am calling you. We need you. We need more transformational healers. We do. So please become one. <laughs> please become one. In whatever way, whatever you're called to, just make sure it is transformational and don't you dare take somebody's word for it. You have to learn the difference yourself, okay? So I'm inviting you to up level, to become the spiritual warrior, the authentic healers that we need on this planet right now. I'm inviting you to please do that, find your way. And if you wanna find your way through Masters of Self University, we are making that possible. You can come. You can learn from our classes. You can learn from our Mystical Life Certification Program. We are offering more and more all the time to put you on the path of actual transformation. Whether you want that for yourself to protect yourself, to heal and elevate and transform yourself, or you want to be able to be a practitioner in this stuff, you can. We offer that here. Okay. And if there are any programs in the world out there who believe they really are transforming versus translocating, and you want to connect with me, please connect with me because I will do research. I will figure things out. I will do the tests. I will see if you really are transforming versus translocating. I am happy to promote you and send referrals your way. I mean that, but it's got to be actual transformation. I invite you in. And for all the healers in the world who have practices, if you want to learn how to up level and elevate your current healing practices from translocating to actual transformation, you can come learn how to do that. A lot of healing modalities can be transformed into transformational healing modalities that are currently translocating. But you have to be willing to come learn how and put the time and the effort, the willingness and the devotion to transform your healing modality into a transformational one versus one that translocates. So that possibility is there. All right. Learn how to do that. Please learn how to do that. Whether you learn from us, me, Masters of Self University or somebody else, I don't care. Please do it though. For the love of God, we need you. Please do it. We really need you. Okay. That's my plea. <laughs> That's my invitation and my plea to all of you healers out there. We have to learn a better way. And the only way is transformation. Nothing else is good enough. Only way of transformation. That is the way to authentic healing, evolving, elevating. All right. So 
Having said that, please go visit mastersofselfuniversity.com. Give us a like. Give us a share. Healers out there, please share this with other healers. Please do your due diligence as a divine being. We have to wake up and elevate our practices. We are being called to do so. So please do so. Um, share this with people. Give us a like. And thank you for listening. Visit mastersofselfuniversity.com. Get a free consultation if you're interested in coaching because, yes, of course, our coaching is transformational. We don't do things any other way. And if you're interested in healing practices and learning more, just visit the website and reach out to us. Okay? We're here to help. And thank you for listening. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now, everybody.